Hello guys, so I will show you something else with this screw modifier because this modifier is in my opinion one of the best on Blender and uh, you can combine it with other modifier and play uh, and play add uh, displays, decimate, etc etc this is really crazy and uh, this is like a game and uh, honestly I really like it uh, so I will show you something to make some pipes uh, I will remove this one uh, I will create this I will press E, E like that, Hop. ish, ish, and why not to make this and this to follow this one? Okay, so I will just add the origin here. So now I have this. I will just select the bevels. I will press Ctrl B V. That could be nice to be able to make uh, a bevel, non-destructive bevel on this. Uh, on this, but right now it's not possible. I will duplicate this one. So actually, on Speedflow and from years, uh, you have uh, the uh, Tubify. Tubify is pretty simple. You click, you change the uh, size, you change the U segment, U resolution, and you change the V resolution. So this is quite simple, but quite easy. Enfin, quite easy, quite useful, and you can do whatever you want. So pretty, pretty, pretty nice. You can also, if you want, add uh, Solidify like that and you can even add a bevel I will just add a bevel like that so pretty uh, pretty nice I will remove the bevel I will remove the solidify and uh, the other interesting thing is that you can add some uh, some profile so this is absolutely absolutely not new we have this from since years so I will just keep it I will convert it to curve and now I have a curve I will just uh, switch the direction to have something correct. If I select this, uh, the Tubify, I press Z, I will be able to select the profile, and that's it. I will be able now to edit my object. And as you can see, I have something really clean. I can edit this, I can change the scale, as you can see here. Oof, like that. And I have something really nice. I can also add some uh, bevels, uh, soli solidify bevels, etc. Et I can also normally, uh, I will just select this one, uh, shift D, and I will have something like that. So to make some cable, etc., this is really, really useful. I can uh, even duplicate this one, shift D, up, make a scale like that if I want, or bigger or uh, more like that up up and that will follow correctly so really nice workflow you can do whatever you want uh, tubify change the si size change upla, some uh, resolution but uh, you need to place everything correctly change the resolution in this one uh, if you want to change the v resolution you need to convert it to bezier curve etc but uh, as you can see pretty nice and pretty useful so I want to show you something different from um, the uh, this crew because if you look at this wire uh, if you don't have curve uh, uh, vertex on the curve you don't have subdivisions you need to add more subdivisions up uh, not you not you yes here more like that okay but uh, as you can see if I come back here, I will have an issue here, but uh, there is some uh, some possibilities. And like I said, I wanted to show you uh, something different. So I will add uh, a plane. I will make a merge to have just a vertice. I will on this one add a displace. I will choose the X axis. And if I edit the displace, as you can see, my vertice will move. So this is pretty interesting. And now what I will do is to create a screw. Okay, I will click. I will create another screw, Shift W. On this one I will press G0 to remove the angle. And I will press D. I'm in Z axis, so if I press D, I will have this result. If you press 2, you will activate the show wire in the model. And you will be able to edit your object like that and to do uh, whatever you want. So this is pretty, 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 pretty useful. Okay. So at this time, you can, if you want uh, to add uh, an array uh, and uh, on a curve, etc. But on this case, I want just to add, uh, ta add a simple curve. But I need to convert this one to curve. So convert to curve. I need the name. So the name plane 
32. So I will now select this curve here, like that, and I will choose the Z axis. Okay. So if I come back to my screw, if I come back to my second screw and I press D, as you can see, the uh, screw will follow the curve. So this is interesting. And the interesting, other interesting part is that you can increase the uh, segment like that, as you want. Same for the other, like that. You can make something like that, uh, etc., etc. If you come back here, you can do this. Or you can, for example, uh, place this here and press F to add some, uh, it's like an array. And after you can clean it like that. Boom. And the difference with uh, the uh, Tubify is that you can directly change the number of subdivisions on the uh, the entire mesh. It's uh, uniform and the result is pretty clean. And if you play with the displays, you will be able to edit this. So the uh, you can not with this uh, workflow use uh, some uh, some uh, profile, but uh, that can be really interesting to make some uh, some cable. For example, I will just move this one here. I will duplicate it like that. I will move this one here. Okay. So now I will play with this screw. So I will edit this one. I will press this. Uh, I will press D, excuse me, uh, to make something like that. I will select the other one and uh, I will just move this like that, press D to have something like that, remove this like that. And normally if I press F, no, not on this one, maybe on the other one. Yep, uh, yes, I will have something like that. So I can edit this, I can go on this one, do something like that, play on something like that. On this one, I can do something like that. So you can uh, edit the uh, the object as you want. I will just edit this one, go on the other one, go on this one, edit it like that, and add some, you plan not on you, add something like that. So as you can see, this is pretty interesting. I will continue. I can uh, make something as long as I want. I can, of course, uh, on this second one, add subdivisions to follow uh, correctly the, uh, this one. On this one, I can add a solidify. Can change the direction if I want, like that. If I want to, it to follow this, and I can add a bevel. So I will just decrease the bevel. I'm able to play with the angle, like that. And that's it. I created really, 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 really fast and easily uh, something like that. That can be really complicated. And of course, I can edit it as I want. I can change the... Uh, if I need, for example, here to make uh, more than one cable, I can. If I need to make uh, this one uh, longer, I can. So uh, if I press F, like that, that will follow the, uh, the curve. So this is pretty interesting. You can edit the number of segments on uh, U and V. You can edit the bevel, you can edit the solidify. And this object is just a, a vertex. So pretty interesting, pretty editable. Everything is editable, so really nice. Different workflow. You can use both with speed flow and uh, you can do whatever you want. And uh, I really like the possibility on this screw. You can really uh, play with it and do whatever you want. On this one, you can make something uh, different, of, of course. You can just change, for example, uh, this to this if you want. And why not add a bevel like that? And you will have this result. So this is not uh, a cable, but uh, you can see the, uh, the power of the uh, of this screw. Everything is editable, and those two modifiers, uh, objects, are just two vertex. Simple, easy, and with this one you can combine and make something really, 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 really nice. Okay, so see you later for another video. Bye bye.